Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and I'd like to show you a favorite combination of mine. I'm going to show you a landscape photography workflow, and I'll start by merging a few photos together using Aurora HDR. This allows me to combine multiple images together to get the most detail. Now, I suggest choosing the auto alignment option, which will make sure that all the details are there. And this is what happens when you shoot in the auto bracketed mode on your camera. It's able to capture a lot of detail from the scene. Now what happens is Aurora is going to take the best part of each of those photos, finding the areas of perfect exposure, depth, and detail, and combining them into a new file. Think of it as having super shadows and super highlight recovery. It gives you a whole bunch of extra information. Now, you can do this with multiple RAW files and combine them for the best results, or even just do it with a single RAW file and still get some pretty amazing results. There we go. I've got the new image open, and I want to develop things a bit. Using the controls here, I'm going to recover some of the highlight detail to bring back the water, and balance out the shadows and the overall exposure. The Smart Tone slider allows me to adjust the exposure with very little shift in color, which is pretty cool. And we'll put a little color contrast in to bring that back. I like where that's going, and I'm just gonna add some clarity here to really refine the details. And then scroll on down and take advantage of a nice gentle glow, and we'll use the adjustable gradient. This allows me to control the different areas of the photograph. For example, pulling down the top exposure a bit while bringing out the color and rolling the color temperature just to get a nice overall color in the ocean area there. Let's pop the highlights there for bright whites. That looks great. If I take a look here at the before and after, we'll just set that, I can see that the HDR details have really brought things back in the image. Now I could hand off and take advantage of plugins. Now, if you're using the Windows version, simply choose to export a high quality image here, and then you can easily open that up inside of Perfectly Clear as a standalone app. But if you're on the Mac side, Aurora HDR does support Photoshop plugins, and you can go under the other menu here, and you should see Perfectly Clear once you've installed it. This means that you can use Perfectly Clear as a plugin right inside of Aurora much like you would use it as a plugin in Photoshop. The image is handed off and opens up into Perfectly Clear. Now, on the left, you'll find a series of presets and a series of looks. These are also organized by category. I'm going to go here with this option for the Great Outdoors, and I see some simple presets here to further enhance the different areas. And if I take a look at these, I can really see what's happening. Now, one of the things that's nice is you do have this great side-by-side -side view. So if you find something you like, you can choose it and then really evaluate what's happening. You'll notice here as well that once you apply a look, it's going to allow you to really see it. And then using a single slider, you can dial in the strength for more or less of that particular look. That looks good. I also see some other presets here that are worth checking. And I think I really like this first one here, this landscape, blue sky. That looks good, but I want to make a few tweaks. So I'm going to pull down the color restore ever so slightly and adjust the sky enhance here using the different recipes to just bring out the color of blue. And I like that one there with what it's doing to the water. The cerulean or aquamarine is really doing some nice enhancement on the water. Now, it's not just targeting the sky. It's really just targeting sky colors. I like that. Let's scroll down and you'll see some additional options, including a very versatile graduated filter. This gives us the ability to go with a linear filter or a radial filter. Now, I already did a linear filter over in Aurora. So here, I'm going to use a radial filter to create a nice vignette on the top. I can adjust the shape to refine it, as well as the size. And this allows me to target the area that's going to be inside. Now, using my feather controls, we can create a nice blend between the two. There we go. And take advantage of things like an exposure shift, 
change in contrast to really help with the water, what goes on with the highlights and the shadows, etc. I really like that. Let's go to the view here. And if I click to see the before and after, it's doing a great job of bringing out some of those details and emphasizing color. So I like where that's gone. On the left side here, you can also take a look at additional creative looks. These are organized based on functionality. And so I see different choices here, such as color film stocks. And what I want to do is apply one of these. So some of these film looks are simulating how a digital image can get converted to a more filmic image. And I think this light film looks pretty good. Yeah, that's the one I like. And using the strength slider, I can dial in the intensity until I'm happy. Once I click apply, the results are automatically returned back to Aurora HDR as a new layer. What's cool about this is it gives you flexibility to decide to make tweaks. So you see there it was added as a new layer and if I turn it on or off I see the results. So if I think I went just a little too far, which is pretty easy to do when you're pushing a plugin, I can just back that off ever so slightly and blend the two images together. Now a touch of perfectly clear added to the Aurora image is really giving me the look that I want. I like how the extra colors have come out here in the water and we've got great texture and detail. Now I can easily save this as a native Aurora file and when I'm all done export to a wide range of formats. My suggestion would be a 16-bit TIFF or a Photoshop file. This way you've got a great high quality master file that you can always reference later if you need to come back. All right. There you have it, perfectly clear and Aurora HDR working together. Remember, you get a plug-in workflow on the Mac side, and if you're working on a Windows machine, just export a high-quality file from Aurora using the export command, and you can open that up directly inside of Perfectly Clear as another standalone application.